Scheduling volunteers is often one of the biggest challenges of planning services and events at our church. And Church Track simplifies the process of scheduling volunteers. Let me show you how to get started. So first and foremost, if you have not created your teams and your roles and assigned your people to them, you'll need to do that first. Check out our other video if you need any help with doing that. Okay, so once you've created your teams, you have assigned your people to your roles, then you can go ahead, you build out your worship service, and then we can start scheduling our people. So we select the scheduling and roles right here on our worship outline. So we have worship outline, then scheduling and roles. I select that. And now I've got nobody assigned to this yet. So from here, I can go ahead and start adding people to my worship service. So I'll go ahead and select add people and roles. Now you have the option to just add roles. So if you want to add the people later on, you can do that by just simply adding the different roles to have those placeholders there. Or you can go ahead and you can start adding your people um, by their name as well. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go back to our teams tab and I'm gonna select our worship team. This is the easiest way to do this, by the way or second easiest, and you'll find out why. So worship team, and then I can start picking my people that I want to schedule for this. And so I can say, all right, my worship leader, I want Sarah as the worship leader for this week, as well as Wayne, so we're having two this week. Uh, I also want to have Jamie as our keyboard player, vocalist, uh, we will put Emily as one of our vocalists, and then drums, Tyler, and then from here, bass guitar, I will put in Wayne, electric guitar, Tad. I'm not doing an acoustic guitar this week. And then I can also put in a speaker. So we'll put in our speaker here. And there we go. So that's the worship team. Now I could continue this process and add additional people. So like I could add people from my AV team. I could add people from hospitality. You get the idea. Um, now it's only gonna show people who I am actually leading a team for, um, but you can always show all teams to see all the teams here. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and select add names. Okay, so I've added the names here. Now you see a little notification there. It's showing me that I actually double scheduled someone on accident. Um, so I actually double scheduled the worship leader, Wayne, as also it looks like playing the bass guitar. So I need to probably change that. And so I can just go ahead, delete that, remove this role from the service. Okay, there we go. Now I can add people again. And let's go ahead, go back to my worship team and add a bass guitar, um, someone I know that's available. So I'm going to my bass guitar and it looks like Ron's available. So I'll go ahead and add Ron, add name, and there we go. All right, I've got my people added. What's the next step? Well, I wanna send out invites to my people so that way I can find out if they can all make it for this particular worship service. So I can select this send invites button. Now here's what's really cool with church track, you can send out invites via email and you can also send invites via text if you decide to enable all that um, so i'm going to go ahead and send my invites to just my worship team but i can select additional teams if i want to send them out to all of them at once and then we also have this other option that you need to know about and that is to send a reminder message so when i actually select this what this will do is not only am I going to send those invites to my people in which they can respond yes or no if they can make it, uh, but I can also have the system send a message maybe three days before, just reminding them that they are scheduled to serve for this particular role. Now, the reason this is so important, and this has probably happened to you, where you're scheduling people maybe a month in advance, and maybe it's for someone running like the lyrics or something like that, and maybe they're not showing up for a rehearsal, um, but it sends them that reminder message and just reminds them because I've had it happen to me where I've just scheduled people really far out and they completely forgot um, and then they didn't show up. So this is just a great tool to kind of remind your people and everything. Now, as people start accepting your scheduling invites, um, you will start to see a couple different things happen. Hopefully one thing, and that is whenever someone says they can make it, they're gonna turn green. So I can actually manually do this, by the way. If I select a person, I can select the status and then I can say accepted. And I only recommend doing this like if you've talked to the person, you've had a conversation, maybe they're right there with you as you're scheduling. Uh, typically you wanna give them the opportunity to respond. Uh, but I do that just to show that as people start responding to your scheduling request, they're going to either say they've accepted it or declined, or in some cases they still have not yet responded and the screen will show all that right here. Um, so that is, 
how you can utilize Church Track to schedule your teams in your different roles, uh, to learn more about worship and scheduling and all the other features in Church Track, click that help button to view our online user guide. It is filled with all the articles and screenshots and videos that you can possibly imagine to help you utilize the software. Uh, we also post our entire library of videos and live streams on YouTube. So be sure to check that out and hit subscribe. See ya.